Before we get started, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell icon. Welcome back. Till now, we have downloaded SQL Server 2019 developer version along with Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. And here towards the left, you see that under databases, we have system database as well as database snapshots, right? But we cannot use the system database for training purpose. So it is important to either create a database or use an existing database. And for this particular course, at start, we are going to download and import AdventureWorks 2019 database. And as we move towards the later part of the course, we are going to create our own database as well. So at this moment, let us see how to download and import AdventureWorks 2019 database in our Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. And the reason why I'm going to choose this particular database is because this database contains the details of human resource employees, person details, sales, and a lot of detailed data. So this is a perfect database to import this particular sample database. What you have to do is let us go to Google or whatever browser you are using, just search download AdventureWorks sample database. And the first link which you get is AdventureWorks sample databases SQL Server. And if you just come down, you see that you have another link from GitHub. So if I just click on this first link, you'll get this. And if you just come down, you see that you have OLTP data you have data warehouse data, and then we have lightweight data, right? So OLTP database is online transaction processing workloads, while data warehouse is for data warehousing, and lightweight is a lightweight database, as the name suggests. So for this particular course, we are going to download this OLTP, and if you just see here, you have AdventureWorks 2019.bak file. Now, if you're using a very old version of Microsoft SQL Server, for example, if you're using Microsoft SQL Server 2016, then you can use this, that is AdventureWorks 2017.bak. And if you're using Microsoft SQL Server 2012, then you can use AdventureWorks 2012.bak. So depending on the version of your Microsoft SQL Server, you can use the corresponding OLTP even if you have installed Microsoft SQL Server 2016. If you want to import AdventureWorks 2017.bak, then it is not a problem at all. But for this particular course, I'm going to use this. So once you click this, you'll get this AdventureWorks 2019.bak file. You can see that I have already downloaded this and I have kept in this particular folder. Now what you have to do is you have to go to C drive. So if I just go to my C drive and inside that you have program files. Click here and go to Microsoft SQL Server, right? And then you have this particular folder that is, this is the particular instance you have at this moment. So click here and go to MS SQL. Inside that, you have backup folder. So just click here and continue. And what you have to do is, you have to copy this AdventureWorks 2019.bak file and paste it here. Now just go to your SQL Server Management Studio and make sure that you are connected to it and then what you have to do is you have to just go to database and just right click and click on this restore database. Click here. Now here, click on device and towards your right, that is extreme right, you see three dots. Just click here. And here you see that you have backup media file, that is file and URL. Now, since you are going to import a file, so you don't have to choose URL. So 
so file is okay and click on add and here you see that you have this particular backup now if you don't see your dot bak file here you can just click on this refresh button and you will be able to see that in case if you are not able to see it here or if it is not pointing to this particular backup file location then what you can do is you can just go to backup and you will be in this particular location all right i'll just click on okay and you see that it is already present here now right and click okay now make sure that this box is checked and again you click on ok this will take some time so what basically it is doing it is going to import this particular database so you see here that database adventure works 2019 is restored successfully click ok and here you see that you have this particular database 